happy occasion of Eid al-Ghadir. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant for all of us the ziyara of Amir al-Mu'mineen alayhi salam in the very near future inshallah and the shafa'a and the hereafter of Amir al-Mu'mineen alayhi salam and his sons and progeny as shafa'at al-Zahra salamullah alayha Shafa'at Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, inshaAllah. Was, uh, what was I trying to say in Arabic is the importance of leadership in any community, whether to be Muslim or non-Muslim, because the structure of the universe is starting with the head. If you lose the head, then the rest of the body will not function well. And this is exactly what happened to Islam. Salat is there, Hajj is there, fasting and zakat is there, but still there is a problem. Why? Because we're missing the leading power of all this a'mal because you wanna show the world how pious you are by being a member in a community practicing justice and trying to prevail justice among the human beings when it's up to the people to decide and to understand Islam according to their own views, then we will get many interpretations. And everyone would claim this is the truth. What I'm saying is the truth. Um, and that's why we become a scattered nation. And that's why we like to remind ourselves and our sons and daughters that you cannot continue in this life unless we are united under the banner of the awaited Imam al-Mahdi Allah ta'ala farajahu al-Sharif Allahumma salli and this is not something related to the unseen. No, it's something related to the facts and reality that you should be following the na'ib of Imam during the great absence time, whom are the maraja' al-deen. Why? Because they are responsible in this time of ghaybah for the mu'mineen and mu'minat around the globe. We have to be connected by inviting the representative, by being in the loop about what's happening around us, by feeling that we are part of this great nation of Islam and mu'mineen and mu'minat. We cannot be isolated. We cannot be you know, just claiming that we can take care of ourselves. Why? because we are part of this great body of المثل المؤمنين والمؤمنات في توادهم وتراحمهم كمثل الجسد الواحد this رحمة this mercy should be shown by being united under the banner of Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad صلوات الله عليه مجمعين And this is your responsibility as fathers and mothers to raise your kids according to this beliefs. Because years after years, generation after generation, our identity might be lost in this diversity if we don't show them the way that you should take your beliefs and your ahkam and your laws 
from the scholars. Why? Because the Imam asked us to do so before going to the great hidden era. And that's why we are suffering today as the Muslims because some of the companions were not loyal to their oath in Ghadir when they say, Bakhin, Bakhin, Laka ya Ali. And that's why the Quran mentioned it after a while. فَإِنْ مَاتَ أَوْ قُتِلْ If the Prophet got killed or, or, or died, إِنْ قَلَبْتُمْ Then you're taking your words back. عَلَىٰ عَقَابِكُمْ You're not loyal and sincere to what you have said and the, the oath that you have been given in Ghadir Khum. So by teaching our kids these uh, values, we can at least show them the way of success in this life by having this system of beliefs where the leader is the purified imam and his representative during our time and for the hereafter by holding the robe of those who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made them our connection between the earth and the sky. Hablullah al Mamdud, Mina Sama il al Ard, Muhammad Wali Muhammad, Salawatullah alayhi majma'in. If we don't hold to this road, what will happen? We will be like any other school of thought dissolved by the time, losing identity and being scattered because everyone has his own interpretation, as I said, and the clashes would start. Little group here and little group there, and this is claimed such thing and others, and that's why we need it always, this continued li line of having imams in every era. And even in our time, the system is still there. You have the marja, the scholars, and you have their representative, and you, cannot, you, can, you can easily connect and feeling the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by uh, returning to those who are appointed by Al-Imam Sahib Al-Zaman Ajallah Ta'ala Farajah Al-Sharif Allahumma Salli Ala Muhammad By the grace of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala in uh, this community you're showing such uh, unity Alhamdulillah by coming from different walks of life and different backgrounds and countries and being one united under the banner of the love of Ali, salamullahi alayhi. This is a, a great a pleasure for me, actually, because I don't see it much in many centers. I uh, ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to keep you, inshallah, united, safe and sound, inshallah. And may this Eid uh, return soon, while the Faraj of Imam al-Zaman is very soon too, inshallah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, give us a tawfiq and the success in this life and the hereafter, inshallah. Kullu amin wa antu bikhair. Thank you very much for listening. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh.